did you know that our bones are made of 90% collagen? Also, did you know that as our bodies age, they produce less collagen than they used to? Today, we're gonna to talk about collagen in our bones and what to look for and consider in a collagen supplement for bone health. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. Since collagen makes up so much of our bones, it provides a foundation for minerals like calcium and magnesium to become part of. Collagen is actually a type of protein. Most collagens are not complete proteins, so this is something important to be aware of. If you're counting how much protein you get in a day, the collagen doesn't count towards your daily protein intake unless you manage to find one that's a complete protein. For something to be a complete protein, it must have all of the essential amino acids in them. Our bodies need 20 amino acids to form proteins in our bodies, and we naturally produce 11 of them. That means that we have to consume the other nine in our diets on a regular basis. Collagen has a rich supply of the amino acids glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. These are amino acids that contribute to bone building. A good way to think about amino acids is to picture them as building blocks of the proteins in our bodies. Our bones are mostly made of collagen protein. Our bodies actually have several types of collagen and different collagens have somewhat different jobs in our bodies. Type one collagen is found primarily in our bones, tendons, and ligaments, as well as in our skin. It creates strength and structure for these parts of our body. Type two collagen is primarily found in our cartilage. It works a bit as a shock absorber and it helps us to maintain our flexibility. Type three collagen is primarily found in our blood vessels and organs. It helps them to maintain their structure. Collagen is important for our bones to heal after having a fracture. Collagen is actually one of the first parts of bone to be laid down after a fracture and it actively interacts with the minerals and vitamins that become part of the lattice structure of our bones. It helps to create a structure for our new bone tissue. Without enough collagen, this process is slowed down and the new bone might not be as strong as it would be if we had sufficient collagen. Collagen supplementation can increase levels of some bone specific proteins that are essential for the formation of bone and its regeneration. When discussing collagen for bone health, it's important to mention Fortibone. Fortibone is a specific type of collagen originally made by a company called Gelida. It's been scientifically studied and has been shown to improve bone mineral density at both the hip and the spine. The amount taken in the study was five grams per day for a year. Now different companies have the recipe and if you find Fortibone as an ingredient in, in different supplements, know that it's the same formula made by Jolita. Some people have been critical of the Fortibone research because the research was performed by the company who makes it. This doesn't mean that it's bad research. It's just the only research that's been done on it so far. Nutrition is an ever expanding area of research. What we're aware of today might change or expand as more research is done in the future. What I'm saying here is that for right now, Fortibone is a good option for taking a collagen supplement, but research in the future could potentially find something even better. So keep your eyes and your ears open for new research. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And also, if you'd like to have a more in-depth look at nutrition for better bone health, I'll be hosting a six-week live nutrition workshop. And you can find more information about the workshop in the video description down below. On that note, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.